this is the sixth video of the series business forecasting and we were discussing time series analysis and today's video is about winters method this is perhaps the most advanced method available under time series analysis and uh, it is also called sometimes holds winters methods and in this method it is possible to take care of level trend and seasonality all three factors of time series so before starting off we just want to discuss the hierarchy of the forecasting methods that we have already learned so far so as you can see here we have learned simple moving average weighted moving average simple exponential smoothing double exponential smoothing and today we will see the winters method so as you can see in this table the simple moving average can only take care of level and uh, not trend and if you want to take care of trend using simple moving average then there is one method we have seen already in the moving average video that uh, it is the double moving average method and of course seasonality cannot be taken care of by simple moving average weighted moving average is also same it can take care of level but no trend or seasonality of course you can extend the method of double moving average in case of weighted moving average as well simple exponential moving moving on average also uh, level can be taken care of not the trend or the seasonality double exponential smoothing or holds method is little uh, advanced and it can take care of level and trend but again not seasonality and in winters method finally we can take care of seasonality as well while the level and trend are also measured okay so now let us see the formulation of winters method so as i have told you already it can take care of level trend and seasonality so in holds method we discussed that for each component like level and trend the method was taking simple exponential smoothing in order to compute that and finally adding them in this case also since three components are measured level trend and seasonality three different simple exponential smoothing formula has been used and the forecast final forecast is level plus trend into seasonality and this p is we have already seen in holds method this is period ahead forecast this is period ahead so for example if it is the next period forecast then p is equal to 1 next to next period p is equal to 2 and so so on and there is another variable called called k here what is k k is the seasonality period number of seasons so for example if you are considering quarters then k is equal to 4 because in one year you have four quarters if you are considering months then your k is equal to 12 because in one year you have 12 months and so on so this is the number of seasons within one year and there is nothing much to say here the equations are already clear and i am not taking the pain of deriving these equations here because that is uh, not really required we are here to forecast using these methods and not to derive this formula because this is a application based course primarily and also you can see there are three smoothing constants alpha beta and gamma like in a simple exponential smoothing we had only one alpha then in double exponential smoothing we had alpha and beta beta and now in this method that is winters method we have three smoothing coefficients alpha beta and gamma and needless to say alpha beta and gamma will lie between 0 and 1 this is the primary constraint of this exponential smoothing methods so now without wasting any much time let us come to the spreadsheet and see how to solve how to forecast using winters method using these three formula and the forecast formula and uh, let us come to the spreadsheet so this is our spreadsheet as you can see i have taken three 
fictitious value or discretionary value of alpha beta and gamma 0 0.1 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 and then there is a data time series data where yearly data is given to you i mean monthly data is given to you for 2004 2000, 2014 15 16 and up to the 7 uh, september month of 2017 so this is the data time series data available to you now these are the equation that i have copied from the slide here uh, now like uh, simple exponential smoothing and double exponential smoothing as well you need to initialize initialize means the first lt value that is l1 value and t1 value and s1 value cannot be computed using this formula so what to do you need to initialize the method of initialization can be varied and there are several methods available in text but we will use the simplest one that is you take the AT value of the first period as your LT value. The trend is 0 and the seasonality is 1. So this is the initialization. The initial LT is equal to AT, the initial TT is equal to 0 and the initial ST is equal to 1. Okay. So now move on to the next period that is period 2. Note here we will try to write this formula but we will face some problems so let us see what is the problem so first of all lt is alpha this is alpha into at by st minus k so what is at at is this one divided by st minus k what is st minus k so suppose you are in period 2 so then it will be s 2 minus 12 because you see a k is equal to 12 in our case we are solving this problem for 12 period seasonality because monthly data is available to us and we are considering one month as one season so this is becoming s minus 10 so this is absolutely absurd s minus 10 is not available to you so what i am trying to say here is you cannot write this formula even for period 2 and actually for the entire season entire 12 season of seasons of the first year that is 2014 so what we will do is whenever we will face this term st minus k we will replace it by s1 so instead of writing st minus k we will write s1 that is g5 and we will make sure that this is fixed by pressing f4 then come to the next part that is 1 minus alpha 1 minus alpha here then into lt minus 1 that is l1 plus tt minus 1 as far as this part is concerned there is no problem in writing the formula this is also okay this is also okay only the problem occurs when there is st minus k terms so you cannot write this term for the first 12 periods so instead of write this one you replace it by s1 for the first 12 periods remember so press enter then your tt what is tt beta into beta into lt minus lt minus 1 so this is lt minus lt minus 1 plus 1 minus beta again then into tt minus 1 so see here this st minus k terms term is not present here so no problem you can write the formula as it is okay now what is st st is gamma into yt what is yt here i have written yt actually this is written at here so either you write yt or at so this is yt divided by lt plus 1 minus gamma into again you see your st minus k term this is k your st minus k term 
is appearing again here. So you know that it become it is becoming s minus 10. So that is not uh, absolutely absurd. So you will replace it by s1 again. So s1. So these three formula will be copied up to the December month of 2014. Then the formula will change. Why? Because now you can write st minus k. So instead of writing this formula, we will replace this g5. Note that d5 was s1 for the first 12 periods. Now we can write it st minus k. So what is st minus k? Note that it is the 13th period. So your st minus k is s13 minus 12. That is s1. So simply write s1 here. That is g5. You don't have to fix it now. Next is your TT formula. It is uh, unchanging because there was no st minus k term there in the trend formula. Then in seasonality also, you need to replace this by S1. So I am changing the color because the formula changed a bit. Now, uh, the forecast itself will start from period 13 onwards. Because you see, for the first 12 period, st minus k is not defined and hence you cannot calculate the forecast value for the first 12 periods. For the 13th period onwards, you can write. So, this is lt minus 1. So, this plus, this is how many period I had forecast? One period I had forecast. So, 1. So, p is equal to 1. So 1 into t t minus 1 into s t minus k. Again, see s t minus k is s 13 minus 12. That is equal to s 1. So use s 1. So this completes your formulation. You can now free to copy this until the end. Not until the end, but until period 46. Because you see clearly that it is dependent on these two LT and TT values that is L45 and T45 and also this S34 value. Now if you want to extend this forecast that is also possible. Only thing is instead of using first of all you will fix this E49 and F49 and then when you copy this make sure that you change this P to 2 and for seasonality no change is required the next period seasonality is also automatically selected so in this way you can extend this forecast for the next 12 periods also so this is how the winters method formula will be used to calculate the forecast values. Uh, please remember that uh, these little changes of the first 12 periods and the next uh, other periods is very important in order to correctly implement this formula. Just remember that the for the that for the first 12 periods the st minus k value is not available. Replace that value by s1 only. That's all you need to remember here. So that's all about winter's method. Uh, in the next video, since we have covered four to five methods of time series analysis, we will now focus on forecasting accuracy, where we will see different methods of estimating forecasting errors. But until then, thank you and thanks for watching this video with me.